Hey guys, it's Penny back here and I'm with someone who I don't know that you know and you need to know her. This is Miss Haley Otto and Haley and I met one another, it's been two years ago, or right, yeah, around, two years right ago. around two years ago. And we were both working on the production team for Russell James's home study course in Oklahoma City. And I wanted you to tell them a little bit about how you got into this whole health food, raw food world, and give them a little background information on yourself. All right, okay. Um, well, it all started, I went to culinary school, and I have been working in the kitchen going on 12 years now. Um, but for the longest time, when you go to culinary school, you're really immersed in those rich, fatty, classic French type of dishes, those um, things where you need fat and you need um, these creams, dairy, these right. animal products. And so that's, that's really that how your I saw food. Mm -hmm. um, I started, it, it was a fluke, really. <laughs> I started working, I was managing a raw vegan kitchen. Um, some of you might know it was 105 degrees in Oklahoma. And we started making all of these dishes and, you know, there was kale salad and to me, I was like, who would eat kale? Kale goes under steak. I didn't get it. <laughs> and the more I worked there, the more I started eating this food and, and kind of getting a handle on what this was all about. And while I was managing the kitchen, I had that culinary background, but I didn't have that raw background. And there was a school attached, and Russell was the instructor. And mm -hmm. so they offered to put me through the level one course just to really get that raw uh, vegan foundation. And since I was working full time in the kitchen and going to school, I decided this is it. You know, I've been I've been on a, a standard American diet, but I'm gonna be in this place for about 80 hours a week, so I'm gonna do it. I went 100% raw, total immersion, total immersion, <laughs> just just to see what it was all about. I still wasn't quite there, and so I did. I went 30 days, started out 30 days, 100% raw, was doing a huge detox, and just the difference that I felt in my life, in how I could interact with people, um, and also just what I was craving. Because right. in the kitchen, you are always, you're go, 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 and so I was a caffeine junkie. I would drink a pot of coffee a day. I would take the five-hour energies and the monster drinks, and that's what I lived off of. And after that 30 days, or during that 30 days, I realized that I had so much energy I didn't know what to do with. And I didn't need any of those other those supplements, those weird things that I was putting in my body. Um, from there, I ended up teaching the level two. Um, I had the culinary background, and now I had the raw background, and the instructor position for the level two class opened up, mm -hmm. and so I designed curriculum, and I started teaching level two at the what turned into the Matthew Kenny Academy, yeah. and that was... Oh, that was amazing. The students, the community that we have, and the people that you get to meet and you get to interact with um, teaching is just, it's such a blessing. And you really got into recipe creation and development at that point. I mean, you really, re I mean, you've always been interested in it, mm -hmm. but you really, um, working with all these ingredients in, in a pristine way, Absolutely. You really became kind of captivated with all that part of it. It does. And moving from that, that standard culinary school mentality, moving over into a world where you have to really reach and create things out of ingredients that you're not used to manipulating, it just opens up your eyes yeah. um, just and gives you this, this brand new palette. And so I really got into that. And after my time there, um, Russell and I stayed in contact and he was doing the home study course. Right. And that's where Penny that's where and I met, met up. Um, but I started doing some consultation work for Russell and helping, you know, organize the videos and things like that. Mm -hmm. After that, I was kind of helping him do some editing for the videos, just little stuff, but always kind of keeping my hand in the raw food world, um, teaching classes here and there. Mm -hmm. And so he, he left us. He did. He moved back he, to he the went UK. Back, back to his homeland. I don't know why you would want to leave Oklahoma. I just didn't. <laughs> we still try to find. We try to figure out ways to get him to come back to the United States. He'll be back. He'll be, He'll back. be back. But 
So it's been that, a couple of years. It's, it's been, been a couple of years. And you've stayed in contact um, and it continued to sort of work with him sporadically, little projects here and there. Absolutely, here and there. And then from that, it became um, something that I just had a passion for, just growing this, this raw food community. And so I've been working with Russell steadily and I'm a member of the raw food or the raw chef production team. Yes. And now I start, now I handle a lot of um, the community members in the raw chef community. Mm -hmm. um, I help do with his ongoing projects and stuff. She's so. kind of the mastermind behind the creative oh, artist don't that tell he him is. That. Well, we oh no! Maybe he won't. <laughs> yeah. Surely he won't watch this video, right? <laughs> Hi, Rissa. Um, but she Lovely. really is like she's the one that comes in. You, you know, we've all known people that are just creative geniuses, and he is one of those. Absolutely. People. I mean, he just has a way about taking just average food and making it become it's a masterpiece. Art. Yeah. And so he needs someone like Haley to really just oh, tighten yeah. up around the edges of the, the back end of everything and just make everything hum. And so that's really the role that you've kind of stepped into I with do. the Raw Chef. Mm -hmm. I do kind of the organization mm -hmm. behind the artist. And so tell them, because we may have some viewers that don't really know mm -hmm. Russell James and what all he has available at his website. And I would love for you to just to give just like a little quick Absolutely. overview of if they go to therawchef.com, what are they going to find? If you go to therawchef.com, you're going to find, first off, you're going to find the free stuff, which is great. You're going to yeah. find Russell's blog, where he posts just delicious recipes, mm -hmm. um, one after the other, and you go from those dinner party recipes, where you're just wowing your guests, to the things that you can just whip up really quickly at home. So mm -hmm. that's always great. Just the, the free goodies. He's always going to provide that. Yeah. So you can always count on that one. Yes. He's also got a lovely ebook bundle if you're just dabbling your toe in the water, you know, mm -hmm. just kind of dipping in. Um, and that is some of his, it's a six ebook bundle, really, really prime. Yeah, that. super. It's, I love it. I actually use it often as mm -hmm. just, you know, it's like cashew cheese. Now, what, what would Russell do? Just exactly. <laughs> Get the ebook, print it out, print it in a binder, and you can put it with you your cookbook. That's right. That's right. Then we do courses. That's one thing yeah. that Russell really specializes in is the home study courses. Yes. Um, he's got for the enthusiast. He has his home study and his desserts course. Now this is going to give you a ten week, really in depth look at just the culinary preparation, everything behind raw food, behind raw desserts. And if you are, you know, really wanting to just put something in there and know everything there is about styling and preparation, then the raw food home study course yeah. and desserts course are for you. Yes. Now, if you're the type, you just need day-to-day -day food and you're not there for dehydrating all your breads and crackers and you just need something to get you, get you through because you're starting out this raw food thing, whatever it happens to be then we've got a really great course. It's called Weekday Raw. Yep. Now this came from actually um, community member feedback. Mm -hmm. Russell kind of put that question out there because he's really he likes to be really in tune with his community. And he put the question out there, what do you want from me? I'm going to give away a free thing, what do you want? And everybody said, fast, easy, simple to prepare, let's do this. And food that I can actually have my family eat along with me. Exactly. Right. So he decided to do just a quick um, weekday raw mini course, and it's some, some great recipes. But from that, we had such a great response that we decided to make a seasonal course out of this. Yep. And so we are currently in the middle, we're just releasing spring right now, in the middle of a four-season weekday raw course. Love it. What you get each season is 30, right around 30 recipes and videos. And you're going to log into a membership area. That's the great thing, because you get this feel of community. And everybody here that's watching this most likely understands kind of how that works, because mm -hmm. they're either a member of one of our initiatives or Raw Food Rehab, so it's something similar that would, wouldn't feel so unusual to them. Exactly. So you log into this membership area. You get 30 recipes using all seasonal veggies, no dehydration needed, and the goal for Russell is to make these something that you can come home and whip out and it's not going to mess up your entire kitchen and it's not going to cause this 
is a great thing. But another goal is to make it to make it beautiful and to make it attainable. Something that you can put um, put on your dinner table and the whole family or all your friends are just going to just gobble it up. And, <laughs> and, and, and to make it appetizing for people that really don't even care or know anything about the raw food diet. It, mm -hmm. it is, it's food that really can be appealing to anybody. It which really is very cool. It absolutely is. Mm -hmm. And that was one of our successes every day on the set. Every, every single dish after it was made was gone just like that. Um, I remember those days. <laughs> I miss those days. So really all they need to do is to check all this out. Or did, is there any more that we want to talk? Is there any more things that are coming that we need to know about? We do. We've got some. He's actually doing some courses if you are in the UK. Um, okay. But he's got some courses coming up. He will also be back in the US eventually. So keep your eye on that. Um, but yeah, our weekday raw right now is, is that's a, that's jamming. It is. Jammin'. Oh, it's amazing. We are just we are every single time we go and film. This is our second season that we've done so far. We've got um, spring releasing now, but we're just so thrilled with the outcome and with just how everything is is really coming up with seasonal veggies. Um, so that's a lot of you I know try and stay seasonal and do the local thing. And, oh yeah. Um, so we're really we're really in tune with that as well. So Haley's the bomb. I love her. Working Thank with you. her was amazing. Russell's very lucky to have you on board, and nice. you're on Facebook. I know you. I am. She's like I'm a little diamond in the rough. She kind of hides out, but Haley Otto. I'll I'll put a link to her Facebook <laughs> underneath this so you can go connect and you'll see what she's up to. Friend me up. Yeah. Say hello. I'm always anytime. I do classes here in Dallas as well, and I always tell my students, you know. If you ever have a culinary question, email me or Facebook me. I'm happy to help just as a chef because I do have that culinary experience background. So I know a thing or two about the ingredients. I think, I think you should definitely uh, make an effort to connect with her, especially if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so it's much for talking with us. Penny. And so we're going to get in the kitchen with yeah. Karen McCarville and we're going to whip up a little something juicy. I like that. So we'll be back again soon with that video, so you're going to want to stay tuned. See you soon. Bye.